Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is the fifth time that I'm filming this intro um, because I cannot seem to get through it without crying. I'm having trouble putting my feelings into words, so. Today's video is gonna be about how I take care of myself on days where I am mentally struggling. And today's one of those days. I am just feeling really sad and really anxious today. And the other times I filmed this, I've tried to get into why and kind of just like explain why I'm feeling the way I am, but I cannot do that without crying, so we're not even gonna go down that path. I'm just gonna explain this in the most general, broad way that I can. I feel like I'm just at a time in my life where everything is just so uncertain. I don't know what I'm doing with my life and growing up is just really scary and hard. Hopefully there's other college students watching this that know what I mean and I don't just sound super like dramatic or something. I can't even believe I'm filming right now. Like usually on days like this, filming would be the last thing that I wanna do. But I just felt like this could help somebody because I feel like you don't usually see videos like this on YouTube. So sorry for that heavy intro, but let's just get into the video. This is just gonna be like basically a day in my life trying to make myself feel better. So the first thing I wanna do is take a shower. I just got out of bed like right before I filmed this and I just wanna get like cleaned up and ready for the day. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, I got out of the shower. I put on a comfy outfit. Everything that I'm wearing right now is from Princess Polly. I wanna blow dry my hair and like get ready a little bit, but I wanna wait until it's a little bit more dry so it's not just like sopping wet when I blow dry it. So I think right now I'm gonna read. Reading is something that has been really helping me when I'm feeling like this because it's kind of just a way to like get out of my head and it forces me to like focus on something else. I spent the entire day yesterday reading because I just couldn't get myself to do anything else. Yeah, I think I'm gonna read right now. I'm gonna give myself a time limit because if I don't, then I'm just gonna end up sitting there reading all day until I finish the book. So I'll probably read for like 20 minutes. I just read for a little bit and of course I had to leave off on a cliffhanger. I really want to keep reading but I know I should probably get some other stuff done. So right now I'm gonna journal. You guys have seen me using this journal a lot recently and this one is more of like a daily, I don't know, like check-in type of journal. Like it's nothing too serious but I used to use this one a lot and this is the journal that I would use for like manifesting I guess and I feel like it helped me a lot so I'm gonna use it again. I used it yesterday and it was really nice so I'm just gonna write in it and I like to play this like frequency. I don't know exactly what it's for. I think it's good for manifesting or some sort of like positive energy. I don't know. So I'm gonna play this and journal for a little bit. Hi guys. So quick interruption. I wanted to break this video up with something a little bit more lighthearted and fun. On days where I'm not really feeling my best, something that I'm very guilty of doing is some good old retail therapy. So thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I get so excited every time I see that I have a Princess Polly package in the mail. If you didn't know, Princess Polly ships from within the United States. They have free three to four day express shipping to the US on orders over $50. And they offer afterpay and shop pay to all US customers. And of course I have a discount code for you guys. It's 20 Kenna for 20% off. I'm really excited about this haul because I got a few self-care items too, not just clothing. So let's start with those. So the first thing I got is this silk pillowcase. I've been wanting one of these for a while because it's supposed to be like better for your skin and your hair. And then it also comes with this little matching silk scrunchie. I got another little set that kind of like matches this, but I cannot find it. I don't know what I did with it. So I'm gonna put a picture of it on the screen. It's this really cute little set that has this like sleep mask and then a headband and a scrunchie. And it's like also silk like this and it's this color. And I thought that was so cute because it was two separate sets. I don't think it was supposed to be like matching or anything, but it was. So I have a sleep mask that matches this, which I'm really excited about. Hopefully I can find it because I really want to use it. I also got these really cute slippers. I've been needing slippers for a while now. These ones are super good quality and I love that they have like this little strap around the ankle. And then I also got this little makeup bag. It just has little flowers on it. And then it also came with this matching face towel, which is so cute. Next, I got a couple PJ sets, which I'm super excited about. This is one of the tops. It's just like this little cropped silky cream color. And 
then these are the matching shorts and they're so comfortable and then i got the same set but in black so here's the shorts and then here is the top also forgot to mention the top that i'm wearing right now is from princess polly next i got this little crop top i have another one that's similar to this um just with like a different graphic on the front and it's one of my favorite tank tops next i got this maxi skirt it's just this like light blue color with like what's this pattern called it's not plaid is it plaid i don't know i can't think of it but this is what it looks like i got this brown crew neck which you guys have already seen in this video it's just so cute and comfortable i have this in a bunch of colors now i think i have like a cream one and a pink one and then i also got this green one i thought it would be cute to have like a bright color and this is a really pretty green i don't think i have anything this color if you're looking for a good crew neck these are perfect they fit so well and they're so soft next i got these pants they're this like really soft like knit material almost and then they're just long and like flowy i've been needing more pants like this so bad they're not just like normal sweatpants but they're still just as comfortable so you can like still wear them out and make like a really cute outfit out of them but it feels like you're just wearing like pjs or something i also got them in this like beige color and you guys saw me wearing these in this video also next up i got the cutest pair of overalls these ones are corduroy and they're this really pretty brown color next up i got these really cute green pants i don't have anything like these so i'm super excited about them and then i got this crochet bag so it has like little flowers on it kind of are these flowers i don't know if these are flowers or not i actually have this in blue also and i love it this bag is like the perfect size it's smaller than a normal tote bag but i feel like it's bigger than a normal like little purse it holds all of my stuff perfectly and then it also has a little button at the top so that nothing falls out next up i got another pair of like kind of sweatpants i guess so they're just these like brown flowy pants and then next I got a couple puffer jackets So this first one is so cute. I don't have anything like it It's just this little like mini puffer jacket almost so it's kind of cropped and then it's like a little bit thinner I feel like than normal puffer jackets you guys will see in the try on haul But it fits so like cute and flattering and then I also got a normal puffer jacket that is pretty much the same color I love this one. It's so so thick and then it has some pockets right here that can zip and That's about it for today's haul if you want you can follow my Instagram to see how I style these. And don't forget, you can use code 20 Kenna for 20% off your purchase at Princess Polly. All right, back to the video. Okay, I just finished blow drying my hair and I'm gonna do my makeup really quickly. I am putting on sunscreen right now. I put on a lot, but I feel like you could never have too much sunscreen, so it's fine. I figured I haven't shown like my makeup routine in a while. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do. This is how I do like my base. This is the Jackie Ina method. I think that's how you say her name. I just saw it on TikTok a while ago and started doing it and it works super well. This usually is a part of my makeup routine that doesn't change. So basically you use like moisturizer or sunscreen, set it with like a light layer of powder and then you put setting spray on and then once it dries you use your primer and then you like start your whole makeup routine i've been using the nyx matte finish setting spray and it works really really well and then i also started using the elf matte putty primer i feel like i used to wear so much makeup because i thought it made me look better but i've definitely learned that less is more i'm using the morphe skin tint in the shade hint of beige i feel like this is slightly too light for me but you can't really tell i like this because it's so easy to just like drop all over your face i love maybelline fit me foundation this is my favorite thing ever but the bottle that it comes in is the most inconvenient thing ever now i do concealer i use the elf 16 hour camo concealer the one that's the matte finish this is where i put it i used to use a lot more but this honestly like does the trick and then for under my eyes i kind of like drag it out and down kind of like in the shape of a triangle but i like mainly focus it on my inner corner and then i set this with powder I feel like i need to like zoom in a little bit okay after that i take the morphe uh wonder tint it's a cheek and lip mousse. This is in the shade For You page. This is part of like the Charlie and Dixie collection, I think. I honestly didn't like this blush when I first used it, but now I love it. I feel like I was just applying it wrong at first. I apply it with like a really like dense brush and I feel like it works really well like that. And it's super pigmented too, so you don't need that much. And then I usually just do eyeliner with a little like angled brush and I just use brown eyeshadow. And then I use brow gel to set my brows and then I curl my lashes and put on mascara. The Glossier mascara is my favorite. And now I'm gonna put some some highlighter on my cheekbones and my nose and then that's pretty much it i just set it with setting spray and then for lips i usually use either like a glossier lip balm or the dior lip oil so that's my makeup routine i feel like whenever i do my makeup on days like
like this. It just makes me feel slightly better. First of all, I'm just a little bit less likely to cry because I don't want to like mess it up. And then also it just feels good to like look in the mirror and feel good about myself and just feel a lot more put together. Also, I totally forgot to mention this earlier. So I go to therapy and I was supposed to have a therapy appointment today and it got canceled. Out of all days, today had to be the day that it would get canceled. I really could have used uh, therapy today, but it's okay. I think right now I should do a couple things that like, I don't know, just need to get done. I need to like put away some laundry, just stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that really quick. And then I think I'm gonna try to go out and go grab like a coffee or something like that. I don't know, maybe go to Target. I feel like going to Target for some reason. I don't know why. So we'll see. Okay, I switched cameras to my smaller one because it's gonna be easier to take with me to go a couple places. Turns out I was wrong about what I said about being less likely to cry after putting makeup on because I definitely did cry quite a bit. That's happened multiple times today. Every time I turn off the camera, the waterworks start coming. It's just been a really hard day today. And obviously I'm not gonna like show all of my little like meltdowns, but anyways, my dad just came home for a minute and he talked to me and I feel a little bit better. He said something that kind of made me realize like I am doing my best today. I'm doing everything I can to help myself feel better and everything else is just out of my control. I really am doing everything possible that would normally make me feel better, but it just happens to be a really, really difficult day emotionally. But I think it would be worse if I was just sitting around doing nothing. I don't know. Even though that's totally fine too. I literally did that all day yesterday. But today I feel like it's definitely making me feel better that I know I'm trying to stop myself from feeling like this. It's not 100% working, but it's better than nothing. So right now I'm gonna go to this little coffee shop in my town that has some really good strawberry smoothies. I might also go to Target. We'll see if I'm still up for it because I just, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling it or not. All I would really do is just walk around. I don't have anything in mind to like buy, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I just saw my best friend's little brother walking home from school because he goes to a high school that's nearby. Wait, what the heck? That was his mom. I couldn't tell because like her windows are really tinted, but yeah, so I just saw him um, crossing the street. I like pulled over and just gave him a ride home because they live like two minutes away from me. Can I get a 16 ounce strawberry smoothie, please? Thank you. You too. Okay, let's see how it tastes one of the good ones. Sometimes these are hit or miss where I go because they'll like change their recipe, but it's back to the good recipe right now. I forgot that I was gonna go to Target, so I made a wrong turn, so I'm gonna need to like turn around right now, but um, yeah, I think I do wanna go to Target. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough time because I want to go on a walk because I just feel like that would be nice. I've been wanting to go on a walk the past couple days, but it's been like too late whenever I decided that I was going to and I don't wanna walk when it's like dark or anything. Oh my God. <laughs> There's like a community college right here and out of all the baseball players that I could have made eye contact with It had to be the one that I knew that I went to high school with. I don't even remember what I was saying I'll see you guys at Target my little lap around Target. I didn't buy anything, which I didn't think I was going to. I just like walking around there. But yeah, I'm gonna go home now. Okay, I just went inside and dropped all my stuff off. And now I'm on a walk. I just left. I wanted to give myself enough time so that I could be home before it gets dark. Cause the sun's about to set in a little bit, but it's pretty overcast right now. So I probably won't get to see the sunset. I'm probably just gonna walk to a park nearby and just do some circles around there. I don't really know. And then walk back home for dinner. later now. It is 11.13. I came home from my walk and I ate dinner and I just pretty much like read. I edited a little bit. I took a shower. I just did my skincare routine and like got all ready for bed and everything. So I think I'm gonna read for a little bit again because my book is getting really good and then probably go to bed because I have a dentist appointment at eight tomorrow. But I just wanted to talk to you guys before I ended the video. I just wanted to say that I am sorry that this was a bit of a heavier video. It probably wasn't as positive as I usually try to keep my videos, but I just felt that it 
it was important that you guys see like this side of my life because as a viewer I would appreciate that and I hope that this video could actually like help some of you I also did want to say that I actually do feel good right now today was really hard and you guys definitely did not see the hardest parts of it everything in between filming was just a mess today except for maybe like tonight that was a little bit better but I feel good right now and that's all that matters I'm ending the day on a good note so I feel like by the end of the day I just started like accepting the fact that like okay no matter how I feel today nothing is gonna change worrying about the future and what's gonna happen just really wouldn't do anything for me today like no matter how much I worried about it nothing really would change I was worrying about things today that I don't even need to be thinking about for a very long time and don't get me wrong that's really easy to say right now when I'm feeling like better but earlier I still knew that but it was just harder to like accept that I guess I don't know if this makes sense but anyways I hope that this video could help you I also do want to quickly mention two things that I didn't say in this video that I was planning on but I just didn't get around to it two more things that really help me on days like this are one meditation I will do like a little 10 minute guided meditation on YouTube it doesn't have to be anything too difficult or crazy and it always makes me feel even just like 10% better just like relaxing my mind when it's going like a million miles per hour is really important for me to feel better and then second is podcasts it doesn't even have to be a wellness type of podcast it can be anything especially when I'm driving sometimes I'll be in the car and I'll have like kind of a longer drive and I'll be anxious and listening to music just isn't really helping me sometimes it's just not like distracting enough and then my mind starts wandering but podcasts are really helpful I'll give you guys a few of my favorite podcasts first one is anything goes with Emma Chamberlain and then the second one is my favorite murder it's basically just like two women telling murder stories but they're super entertaining and the women are really funny I don't know they just somehow found a way to make such a serious topic just a little bit like lighter um, if you're into true crime I feel like you would really like this podcast and then I also like moments with Lexi Hidalgo I haven't listened to that one a lot I think I've only listened to probably like two episodes but I am getting into it a little bit more because hers I feel like is more of like a motivational podcast and today I was listening to one that was called moments dealing with like change or something like that and change is like the number one reason for all of my stress right now just going through a time of my life with a whole lot of changes and I feel like it was just nice to listen to that podcast so I think that's about it I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night whatever time it is for you and I will see you in my next video bye guys